In this video, I will reveal five types of gamification campaigns that will blow your audience's minds like never before. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when we post new videos that will help you grow your business. Let's get started with number one, the brand awareness game. If your main goal is to get your brand out there, this campaign type is for you. Gamification is one of the surefire ways to cut through the noise and be heard. Let's take the example of Donut Pappy, an Australian donut store that wanted more website traffic and social media following. In 2017, they launched a fun Candy Crush style game targeted at the local community. Players were rewarded with free donuts when they played and shared the game. This is how Donut Pappy increased their mailing list by 581%. Now, if you're going to do a brand awareness campaign, there are three key things you need to know. First is the offering of rewards to those who invite their friends to join the game. Second is to spark competition by including leaderboards so that these friends can now go head to head for the top spot. And third is to make sure you do an early push to get as many downloads as possible in the first few days of the launch. This is important because the early popularity of an app in the App Store has a big impact on its long-term ranking. To do this, you could offer a small gift or discount to the first 1,000 people who download your game. Also, make sure to invest the bulk of your ad budget at the start of your campaign rather than stretching it out equally. Right. Let's move on to number two, a lead generation game. As the name suggests, this is all about capturing more leads, whether that's getting folks to sign up to a mailing list, setting them up on a retargeting funnel, or even getting more inquiry submissions. Have a look at this travel app called Traveloka, which sells travel packages to their app users. The name of the game for them is to get as many people as possible to download their app, then purchase their products. To get more people to download their app, they launched the Game Farm in 2021, where users get to play different games, including things like puzzle games, memory games, and multi-level games. This campaign encouraged a fierce competition between players who had the chance to win flight tickets, a stay in five-star hotels, and even smartphones. This was a massive success, with their app being downloaded more than 60 million times. That, I'm sure you'll agree, is a lot of hot leads. And let's keep things hot by talking about a type of gamification that's just as spicy. Number three, in-game selling. So there are two things you need to do here. Make your product appear in your game and give players the chance to actually purchase that product straight away. And if you're going to do this, the number one thing I would suggest is to integrate a payment process inside the game itself. Have a look at Cartier. They came up with a Pac-Man game that featured its collection. After completing all five levels, players will see the word love and can purchase the featured pieces directly by clicking on the image. This way, users can stay within the game without having to leave and continue to make purchases. Thanks to this, they were able to drive traffic during the event and increase sales. If this isn't possible, you'll need a really attractive hyperlink button within the game that opens up a new tab within your payment landing page. But as always, adding an extra step can cause drop-offs. So make sure your landing page is super easy to use and highly persuasive. Now let's move on to four, education campaigns. These types of games tend to fall into two categories, training and client onboarding. A great example of this is AstraZeneca, who gamified their training process in 2015 with a program called Go to Jupiter. This staff training tool used multiple gamified elements to motivate learners, including mini games, rewards, and team competitions. They made it so entertaining that the majority of learners actually completed the program outside of working hours, and the learner completion rate increased to 95%. You know what? I'll let you in on a secret. 
Marketers are using games for education because it's scientifically proven to be effective. It stimulates three types of learning, visual, audio, and kinetic, all at the same time. Now, the last type of game is a real goldmine to all of you who are struggling to gather data. Five, data gathering games. We all know that the success of your marketing really depends on understanding your customers deeply and having the relevant data on them. Gamification can be a great way of gathering information without people feeling like they're being interrogated just to be sold back to. Let's say you're a perfume company. You can tell customers that you can find the perfume that's the perfect match for them. All they have to do is play a fun personality game. Throughout the game, you could ask questions like, are you a summer or winter person? Do you prefer a night in or a fancy restaurant or a club? Or would you rather go for a walk on the beach or a stroll through the forest? If you were to find out that the majority of your customers love the beach, you could then use that data for your future marketing. Maybe you want to call the next best scent sea breeze or odor ocean. You see, if your game is personable and entertaining enough, you can gather information in a way that the customer enjoys with no pressure whatsoever. And that's it. Now you hold all the cards. If you're looking for more ideas on how to grow your business with gamification, feel free to get in touch with our agency. And don't hesitate to share this video, like and subscribe. As for me, I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.